All right, welcome to another vlog. Uh, I didn't want to start off like this, but it's some crazy weather we're getting in uh, Phoenix right now. A little bit of hail. It's uh, a thunderstorm out there, so pretty unusual here in Phoenix during this time, but there you go. But uh, today's vlog, we are heading over to Dallas. I'm gonna show you guys kind of what we do at least first couple days uh, of when we go in for interviews. So if you're coming down for uh, pilot interviews, this is going to be a behind the scenes kind of deal of what we do. So let's go. Going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. Get it down, never going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. Hey, what's happening? <laughs> All right, guys, here, deadheading. You know, whenever we go to Dallas, there's a ton of us going to Dallas. Rick, is there one of them? His uh, son is becoming a CSA agent, so he is. We'll, we'll say hi to him. Hey, Bryce. Welcome <laughs> to the cohorts of Southwest Airlines. This guy's about to have a kid, so he's coming to have uh, have a little bit of sleep before he has to. One more week of sleep. Well, that's it. You know what you get to add that Ernie and I have? A little bit of gray. That's yeah. it. <laughs> it's coming, man. Yeah, it's, Look at that beautiful. Look at his hair. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Beautiful, <laughs> dark, to, uh, eat full, 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 of, full of life, Fun. just no uh, wrinkles. Great. Anyway, we'd like to have a good time here, so we're giving everybody a bunch of crap. Just because, uh, no, we can't, we're pilots right So, anyways, on our way over to Dallas, this is the Deadhead. Uh, I'm sitting here back in the back of the airplane, just like a normal passenger. We'll get over to Dallas, go to the hotel, and we've got an early go tomorrow. Uh, first thing in the morning is a morning meeting, and uh, but first we got to get there. Um, I rent a car just because I don't want to be dependent on, uh, you know, the shuttle and all that. So I got a car so I can make it there on time. But, here we go. Let's head down. All right, made it here to the Embassy Suite, uh, right next to the Dallas airport. This is the home for the next four days. So doing interviews for the next four days. Uh, you know, I love the embassy because microwave, fridge. I'm gonna head out to Icon Meals right down the road, uh, probably tomorrow and just grab some meals for the, for the four days that I'm gonna be here, grab some protein, all that good stuff. Better than carrying it all the way here. Icon's here, I'll just grab some <laughs> while I'm here and uh, hit the grocery store, grab some protein uh, just for the four days that I'm here. So that's how I handle my nutritional stuff. Um, as far as everything else, let's I just pretty much go as is. But it is 1047. I've got a show time tomorrow of six o'clock in the morning. I'm gonna meet everybody downstairs for breakfast, and then we're gonna roll out to uh, the headquarters building and start the day of interviews. Uh, meetings at seven o'clock, so six o'clock eat down here, out the door at 6:30, and then uh, over to headquarters. So I gotta find a, a time to do my workout in. Uh, that mix might have to be afterwards when I'm nice and tired, but we'll figure that out. All right, we will see you, I will see you in the morning tomorrow and just show you kind of what we're doing uh, the first day. Um, probably not everything, but show you guys what I can. Ooh. It is 548, um, not a ton of time uh, the first night and that's typically what happens. I'm gonna get up and just do a little bit of cardio, probably just run on the treadmill for, you know, 20, 30 minutes-ish. Um, and then we'll probably hit some weights this afternoon. Um, it helps me get on the time zone when I wake up and actually at least go do something in the gym. They'll be a little bit better, but I'm gonna be tired. <laughs> but it is what it is. So, head to the gym. Let's go grab a, just a quick workout, just to wake ourselves up. What have we here? All right, I found my morning workout without a guy. Gym isn't anything too much to write home about, but some free weights, treadmills, Peloton. Oh, good morning machine or piece of equipment. Yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna get down on this Peloton. Just a nice, easy ride. Get the heart going. Done with that. 
the uh, breakfast club is starting to form up, so I don't have a whole lot of time. I gotta hurry upstairs, change real quick, and then get back downstairs. I might not grab anything to eat. I might just grab a banana or something like that. Um, usually, what I do is have 30 grams of protein in the morning when you go work out. Then I won't eat till lunch. So that's kind of what I do. But you know, if you've got a little bit of a nice. Not a little bit. You got a nice breakfast area down there. You know, that'd be sweet you get. Oh, nice eggs and all that good stuff. It might be a little heavy for me in the morning. And we don't have time. <laughs> well, it's a good thing we ironed our shirt in the morning because we have to be downstairs in about 10 minutes. So, time to get ready. Do the Superman drill. A little bit behind. Should have been uh, on the road about 10 minutes ago. Gotta cut out breakfast. No breakfast today. We'll grab it at the uh, headquarters building. Uh, in a little bit. Well, I knew it was gonna be a wet one here in Dallas today. Got my jacket in my bag, but we're gonna hustle and get over. So, we don't need no stinking jacket right now. So, here's a good thing about this. I'm not late, because my boy Phil is just pulling out of the, uh, the parking lot right now. So, honestly, it only takes five minutes to get over to the headquarters building. So, we are going to make our way. We'll take two cars, uh, both rented a car. It makes it easier for the team. I don't know if you guys can see me, but you know, I don't know how to turn the lights on in this thing. You know, the one thing that I always get impressed with when I come to uh, Dallas is just the size of the campus. I mean, we are going to, which was the, the old headquarters building. Well, I guess it still is the headquarters building. We just have uh, like four other buildings. Um, we used to interview in the Leeds building, uh, which is where we all have the big simulators and all that good stuff. But now we've uh, we've come back to the old school building where I interviewed a long time ago is uh, kind of it. But it's kind of cool to see how this campus has evolved and all the new buildings that are out there. My brother Phil has been my one of my good friends for a long time. But look, I just want to want to highlight how good this man looks. Look at this. Yeah. Let me straighten it up first. <laughs> Got me looking all crazy right now. <laughs> Phil is one of the best, best dressed men I've ever met. Oh, so. man, don't even call it. <laughs> all right, here we go. The headquarters building. This is where all the fun happens. We go in, you've got to uh, flash your badge. I do want to say, Phil, we're on time. All right. Look at that, 58. Two minutes to spare. Five minutes. If the police weren't in front of us, we would have been able to go fast. Yeah, I know. There's a cop in front of us. So. <laughs> <laughs> Just got out of our meeting. All Phil, right. what do you think? You know what? I think we're uh, we're going in a new direction. We are going in a new direction. So <laughs> if you guys are getting ready to come out, if you're in the space and you're training, you guys got to tighten it up. <laughs> exactly. Because <laughs> this is about to get real competitive. <laughs> yes, sir. And uh, it's not just with us. It's with everybody out there. So if you're in the training pipeline, make sure you have no check ride failures. Your quality of flight time. I mean, if you think you're going to bounce to uh, a single turbine prop, you know, turbo prop airplane and then uh, come on over to any of the majors, that's probably not going to happen anymore. So take no check ride before it's time. Correct. Check rides are going to be super important, guys. So yeah, that's what we know right now. Um, all the airlines are starting to tighten it up. So it is even more important now for you to be as competitive as possible. If you're coming to an interview, you may be in one of these little rooms. Here is one of the interview rooms, if you guys are coming down. So this is where we do uh, logbooks and the two-on-one interview or the panel interview. There's another room down the way which we do uh, SBQs, which is situational based interviews. But this is what it looks like. We've got tons of spaces here. It's a panel interview, team three. I'm actually team five today. <laughs> I wanna go grab some coffee, get my gear, set everything up and then uh, then we'll be back at it. But I do have some tips. Again, it is gonna get tight. It is gonna get really competitive. That shouldn't scare you off. That should motivate you to be the best pilot you can be in training and on the line wherever you're flying right now. So I just finished up uh, a quick brief um, on the new changes on the hiring stuff. Uh, again, you know, things are, things are changing right now. It's gonna be super competitive. It's gonna be super important that you guys pay attention to detail and, uh, you know, it's gonna be just competitive. So try to be the best person that you are, the best pilot, put that face forward. So uh, it's gonna wake up a lot of people. So now I am gonna go to the uh, 
cafeteria, grab a coffee really quick. I have a little bit of time before my first interview. And uh, yeah, I need to grab some, grab a quick bite. You know, mainly some coffee, I might grab some protein if they have it. But our cafeteria is pretty neat. Uh, I'll show you guys that. Uh, it's called The Landing and it was uh, kind of the staple when I was going through as a new hire. Uh, we would always come over here for the cafeteria. It might not be open, but we'll see. Let's try. All right, this is it. Um, you can see it's kind of closed down, so they're kind of wrapping it up. Uh, lunch is going to come out here pretty soon, but they have these little grab and go things. Here, I grab some uh, ah, chia pudding, hard boiled eggs. Something there, but um, there is the view. You can see here, right over the terminal. It's just a cool spot to come hang out. Um, when I have to do some work on the laptop, I'll do that. Uh, the breakfast burritos here are really good, um, as are the sandwiches. But this is typically completely full. Lots of choices. So, no protein though. So. Um, yeah, no protein. That's okay. All good. Just grab something quick and then head back out to the uh, to the interview deal and uh, start getting the interview going. But I think I'm gonna grab this parfait. Get some coffee on the way out and head back to the room. Well, typically this is kind of how we start the logbook interview. I'm gonna be doing logbooks today. Uh, there is an AM and a PM session. So we'll have three candidates per session. So the AM session will start off uh, about every 45 minutes. We'll bring someone new in, it goes pretty quick. And what we do is we highlight some of the logbooks uh, that you bring in as far as uh, certain tab notes, like you know, the number of hours you have, thousand turbine, um, any failed check rides, kind of things like that. And then generally what I do is I go through the logbook and see you know, what some of the write-ups are. And we'll kind of have a discussion on that. There is some portions of this logbook uh, review where we're gonna ask for your ATP, your medical, your FCC license, kind of things like that. But once you sit down, this is honestly what you are seeing. Uh, I've got my laptop open. I'm going through all the questions that I have here, and typically I'll have your logbooks on the side here. So we'll do that. We'll get through uh, the three this morning, then we'll go grab some lunch. All right, we just finished our three for the morning. Um, good stuff, good talking to you guys. Uh, it's, it's always interesting to hear everybody's story because everybody's story is different. And uh, you know, this is kind of what I say is, we get through the logbook portion, we go through your hours, make sure those hours are accounted for properly, and then we just have a conversation about your flying, your passions, and you know, really, why do you want to come here? <laughs> so, uh, got through that, uh, we're gonna have a quick break. Um, we go through uh, a place called Consensus, or we do a thing called Consensus, where we all come together. So, we've got the panel portion, we've got the logbook portion, and we've got the SBQ portion, the situational based interview portion. We all come together, we discuss the candidate, and you know we pretty much write down our findings and we send it off and make a decision. So, well, we make a decision and we send it off. So that's kind of how consensus works. We go to another building uh, or another room for that and uh, we'll do that there. So we'll do that, we'll grab uh, some food and we'll get ready for the next round of uh, interviews. Another three coming up. We are finished with the consensus. Now it's time to grab some food. And uh, typically what they do is they cater some meals for us because it is a fast paced day and you don't have time to go out or even go upstairs to grab food. So what we're gonna do is we'll grab some food. Typically it's uh, pasta day today on Mondays. Um, we have pizza day, we have you know other different kind of days, but they cater food for us so we can be as efficient as possible. Oh, check it out, a little bit of tea. So you get here late, but there's some more. So we're, we are never at a lack of food here, and I should probably get down on some of that, but I'm definitely getting down on some of that. They take care of you really well here, and, uh, and we are well fed and ready to go. So we're gonna grab uh, something to eat, and then uh, it's off to round two. 
Okay, so when you guys first arrived to Southwest Airlines to do a pilot interview, you were gonna be here in the main lobby. So coming in straight from the parking lot to this main lobby where all the airplanes are and it's super cool. Um, these things are big, look at my hand, like comparative. These are big models, but anyways, it's the landing area where you get to kind of hang out. You are gonna go into the people department lobby where you will check in, actually check in at the main receptionist desk. Right over there, you're gonna get a security pass and that will allow you to come in here where you're going to hang out in this room, almost called the fishbowl. All right, you used to notice a lot of bags over here. You're gonna come into this area and drop your bags. You're gonna get a little bit of a briefing here as well on kind of what's going on for the day. Um, you'll get, uh, a really good presentation about the company and you know what we're kind of looking for and all that good stuff You'll also drop your logbooks off here And this is where they're gonna get all separated out So when we do your logbook portion we get your logbooks ahead of time so we get to look at it foot stomper This is where your logbooks need to be wired tight. So if you're not using a uh, a computer program, I highly suggest it. It's not required, but again, we're talking about it's getting competitive do everything you can to put yourself ahead of the pack. What would I tell my daughter? <laughs> what have I told my daughter? Is get a uh, get a electronic logbook. You have plenty of things here. Uh, water typically have. We'll have some snacks coming out and uh, a coffee machine. If you want to check out some of our old school seating, <laughs> you could do that too. I think this is our three and five hundred seating. It's not very comfortable. But uh, lots of nice things. So we, when we do call you back, we're going to come to, from this door. We're going to call you. We're going to say, is there an Ernie? Yes, sir. I'm Ernie. Hey, great. Come on back. Then I'm going to escort you back here. So if we're doing logbooks like I am today, I'm going to escort you to my room, which come around this corner is right here. Uh, you'll sit down at this uh, table here, and we're just going to have a little bit of a conversation. So what I like to tell people when they first come in is, you know, number one, make yourself comfortable because we do want you as comfortable as possible because we want to get to know the real you. We know you're nervous. We know that uh, you have a lot of anxiety probably running through your veins just try to relax as much as possible and we try to do the best to, to help you guys relax so in here we'll have your logbooks already we've already gone through it and reviewed it um we may have jot down some notes off to the side just to you know bring us up uh bring us a little reminder of what to talk about so then we have a a normal uh question q a that we have to go through you know that's validating atp making sure you have uh you know, the requirements to be here, number one, and then looking at your medicals and stuff like that. So once we have all that done, we go through a flight time grid to ensure that you're qualified and what you've been doing. And we slide all that stuff across and then we just talk about flying. And some of that flying may be bringing up your logbook to discuss, you know, things in your past, failed check ride, or, you know, even a memorable flight that you had, uh, you know, when you were, building your time and getting that experience as you've been flying. So those are some of the things that we look for. I love having those conversations because I like flying. And uh, well, I like it when you guys have good, vivid, detailed stories to tell. So if you're coming in, bringing a story, and we all have them, right? Um, it's one thing about uh, the test preps or the interview prep companies. You know, uh, I just heard it today. Oh, we heard Southwest doesn't like that. Um, you know, I could tell you myself, that's not true. We want you guys to be as best prepared as possible. Uh, and again, it's not that they are bad. You just want to go to the ones that tell you how to tell your story in a clear and concise and within a certain time frame, right? Um, work on doing that. You don't have to go to a test prep company. You can go to your buddies too. That's, that's another good opportunity. But just get in front of somebody that will help you tell your story because it comes out different than it is in your head um, when you're thinking about it. So when you actually verbalize it to someone else, you're like, holy cow, that doesn't sound very good. So, and they can help you out with that. But 
Anyways, that's it for the log book. Um, if you are doing a two on one, you're gonna have a table much like this, but it's gonna be bigger because there's two people sitting on this side. And it's gonna be you in the middle. You're gonna have a piece of paper that you can write on and all that good stuff too. And honestly, it is like your HR questions. Um, typically, you know, why do you wanna be with us? Why, you know, what was it in your background that, um, you know, gave you the idea of coming to us to, to fly? Um, what in your background have you done? And what are some of the challenges you've gone through? What are some of the high points, low points, those kind of things? And honestly, it's geared in a way to get to know you, to understand where you're coming from, your experiences, your, your uh, background, where you flew, all that good stuff. And it's a good conversation piece to have too. And then the last part, you'll go into another room that's much similar like this, smaller table again, and you're gonna do a SBQ, which is situational based questions. So um, we're gonna give you a situation that you're in, just like it sounds like. Um, it's not gonna be a good situation. And what we're looking for is how well you work through the CRM process. You know, do you use all your resources? Are you um, kind of a one-man show and you're making all the decisions and you know, you've got a fully capable first officer next to you and you discount that person? Um, <laughs> we're looking for that. So we wanna see how you work through the exercise, work through the scenario, what resources do you pull, and how is your demeanor through that? Are you the authoritarian, the tyrant in the left seat that demands to do this and that? Or are you a little bit more diplomatic to people with differing opinions on how things should be done? So, I'll leave it at that. But anyways, and that's it. Um, again, like I said, uh, just like in the beginning, when we're done with uh, all these interviews, we go meet as a team with Logbook, the panel, and the SBQ interviewer, and we discuss you. And then we make a determination whether you're gonna advance or not, and then, that's that. Um, there is a, a point in the process that you may or may not meet a reference check team if we need a little bit more information. Um, again, when you're filling out these applications, make sure that they are filled out complete, neat. Um, I would highly recommend getting, a, you know, a software program. It could be Adobe, it could be whatever, but making sure it's typed out. Again, we want to set ourselves apart from the competition, right? Um, we have this thing in football where it's like, you know, uh, and I think I put it out on Instagram, where there is somebody somewhere training harder than you. And when you meet that person, he or she is gonna win. So, put yourself in an interview situation. Somewhere out there right now, someone is doing everything possible because they know when they get the opportunity to come and sit in this seat, there's gonna be about 20 people outside in the waiting area waiting to get this slot to be hired. So this person may be doing a lot more than you. Make sure that doesn't happen. Make sure you're out running and gunning and you're getting everything ready. You know, software programs, making sure everything's typed. Electronic logbook, make sure everything's typed. Having your stories down, make sure everything's typed. Approaching check rides, making sure you are ready for that check ride. Um, and studying, studying like crazy because it is gonna get a lot more competitive, a lot more. So be ready. But uh, anyways, all right, I gotta get ready for the next round of interviews. I have three more logbooks today. Then we'll do another consensus and then we'll be done for the day. So here we go, three more. Third interview complete on the logbook side. So now we're gonna head out to do our consensus down the hallway and then we're done for the day. And then that's one full day of doing interviews here at, uh, at Southwest Airlines. All right, done. Look at this good looking man right here. Hat. Look at that hat. Let's just get a close up with a hat. All right, we're done. My name's Billy hey, yeah. Phil, are we working out or what? Yes. So we're working out? Yes. All right. If not tonight, definitely in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> you see how it works. <laughs> he was talking a big game just a little bit ago. What did you say? We're going to LA Fitness. We're going to get a two hour workout in, some weights, a little bit of wad action. No. No. <laughs> no, national championship. What time does the national championship game start? I think it's 6.30. Yeah. Off to the hotel. I'm gonna hit the gym. <laughs> so that is gonna be a wrap for this one. 
yeah, hope you guys liked it. It is five, I think I have about half an hour to get in a quick wait routine before the game starts. So I'm gonna do that and then we're gonna hang out. Uh, I'm not sure where we're going. We're supposed to be going to some uh, some place to watch the game. I might be a little bit late, but I gotta get that workout in. You know, I feel, mm, if I don't do it. So workout it is, all right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the background, uh, you know, behind the scenes kind of thing of us doing pilot interviews and being here in Dallas. Uh, I get to repeat and do this again tomorrow and the next day and the next day. <laughs> but the last day, you know, it's a long day and then we go right to the airport and fly back home. So that's what happened on the last day. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, hopefully it motivates you guys. Remember, it is getting competitive out there. So you guys want a job at a, uh, a airline, a major airline, you know, you gotta you know, just know it's getting competitive and you're gonna have a lot of competition. Your resume and your flight experience is gonna have to stand out uh, even more than ever. So nothing you guys can't do, um, I know it. So get out there, get after it, and we'll see you on another video. Take care.